Hello, I'm up to chapter 14 of Actress by Anne Enright, uh, which, you know, as much as my bitching about there not being actual chapter breaks, um, I'm really enjoying. And yes, indeed, uh, I, I downloaded the Kindle version of it just to see. And yeah, there's nothing that says chapter or whatever. It's just, there's just like end of page blank and then next page and then the next the next section the next passage um happens um so um in these ones nora gets raped um raped by the guy it's one of these unfolding onion things where you know this guy that she had slept with this older man that she slept with uh who is an english professor who, um, you know, she, she slept with once and she did it consensually. And then the second time she got, she was kind of cajoled across to a bar, given a bunch of drink, ends up at his thing, says no, and is raped. Um, in that way that at that era, she's not actually quite certain what happened other than, yes, it was a rape. Um, and so there's that with her and her mother, in addition to the whole thing of, like, her mother flirting with the IRA and um, Nora being caught in one of the bombings, um, seeing, like, one of the women, a woman beheaded um, from the blast and coming home and her mother sitting there by the thing and saying, wasn't us. And it's like, who's us? It's like, yes, flirting with the IRA would maybe made it worse than actually being a strongly committed, you know, terrorist or anything like that. She was flirting with them. So we have that. We have this, this, this rape. We have Nora's relationship with her husband, which is actually seems to be a fairly good relationship with her husband. It's like, you know, they're still kind of connected even at this point um even at this point you know as as mature mature people they are actually still connected and actually love each other and have an intimacy which is tremendous um we also have her mother after the shooting and her kind of real well there's pre the shooting where she's she's her men, her her mental state is going downhill and it's funny because as I read it, it's like, I think you're getting it from Nora's perspective at the time and her mother's kind of aged, but then you kind of go like, oh, one of her last performances uh, was in a different language where she was naked and actually she gets raped and which must be a fucking PTSD thing for Nora. Um, but she's 51 there, which is like, I'm 51. And my mental state is not deteriorating. This is something that's particularly happening, you know, whether it's the alcohol or the drugs or just sort of like, you know, early onset dementia. Something's happening with, with uh, Catherine here. Um, and, you know, after the thing, she gets basically she just gets taken away. She is incarcerated. Uh, and, you know, Nora's like, oh, I, you know, I'd like, you know, like to say that, like, you know, everyone was gathered around and, you know, was helpful and, and, and things, but like, no, everyone fucking deserts. And, uh, all you hear is the skirting of their feet as they r rush away. Um, so, and it's interesting how, as this is going along, I'd say Nora is getting larger and Catherine is shrinking just because of her mental state and, you know, it's going to be more and more inaccessible to the daughter. He also, she also discovers that the priest, his, this pet priest that she's had and that she kept, who, who went away at a certain point and then came back as a psychoanalyst, psychoanalyst priest or whatever, who her mother's been seeing, you know, for years, is actually maybe a lover and that she came upon them when she was six years old um, of them being fucking on the door, on the, on the, um, on the, uh, fucking on the landing. And, you know, that didn't happen, but like that was him. And she sort of maybe depressed, suppressed it at the time, but she comes upon them and she, her mother's got her shoes off and he's got his shoes off. 
and it's like, oh, oh, and it kind of all the pennies drop that way. And it's like, you know, it's very kind of discreet kind of lover, I guess that, you know, that's that's was with Catherine's definite definite thing is like she got to, you know, have love affairs and things like that. But she did it discreetly because, you know, that's that's the time. And um, there's a thing here also of, of Nora being like, hey, I actually like sex, which being a woman in like the 50s or 60s in the 70s and actually liking sex was like, you know, it's like you slept, you were sleeping around, you were loose, you're, it was going to end badly for you. But it's like, you know, actually, I like sex. Um, so there's, there's that, there's that too. Um, I'm, I've been thinking about whether, okay, actress, mother, actress, daughter, actress, I don't know. I mean, she's putting on a great performance for us. She's really telling us all this. She does a wonderful kind of um, you uh, monologue to her husband at a certain point. And I think maybe other points that she's talk, she talks to her husband as the you that's being redressed, which is like interesting there. There's other times where she talks to that young woman at the very beginning, you know, saying like, oh, what was your mother's sexual style? And it's like, I do not want to answer that question. Um, but, you know, she does kind of circle back around to it of her mother's sexual style, I guess, in a way. So, yeah, yeah, that is actress as I'm going through it at the moment so far. Um, it's actually, I'm, I'm actually fairly close to the end. And the, the, the little chapter or the little track breaks are getting, getting smaller and smaller as we go along. So increasing the pace, that crafty, crafty writer and Enright. All right, I'll leave it there. More videos later.